Welcome to our Canis Libero. Uh, tonight I wanted to demonstrate for you the uh, hat mount we made for the NV200 night vision. Um, it works very well. I'm still getting used to it. Um, you can walk with both eyes open. You, um, it takes a little bit of adjusting to uh, to move it around and get it r right where you want it um, so that uh, the images uh, coming from the NV200 and from your other eye are married. Um, you have a tendency to get double vision if uh, if you don't get the uh, the ocular on the uh, monocle lined up with your other eye. Um, you can always squint, um, uh, but uh, it works a lot better when you get them married uh, real close together so that you can use both eyes at the same time. Um, really happy with this thing so far. I uh, can't wait to get outside and try it out a little bit more, move around. Um, I'm on right now. I'm looking at you through the eyepiece and with my other eye. And the two images marry um, pretty well. Um, I get a, I get, I get a, uh, a, a fairly three-dimensional look at what's in front of me and I can look at the camera with both eyes open right now. You might see the glow from the infrared illuminator um, of course, uh, when I look in a mirror, I cannot see that because we are using our homemade uh, uh, infrared filter, um, our, our visible light filter, so that the only the infrared light is passing through. And so uh, when I'm looking at this thing, I can't see anything. What you can see right now, or what you could see a moment ago, because uh, I just shut it off, <laughs> is the... Uh, Give you another look. Uh, what you can see right now, uh, that that faint glow over here, is uh, is the result of the video camera's ability to see into the infrared light spectrum. Uh, modern video cameras do see into the infrared spectrum. Um, the hat mount uh, works extremely well, though. Really happy with it. Um, it's fun messing around with it. It's nice to be able to walk around. Um, with uh, this over my uh, eye and not have to hold it. Uh, that makes it kind of nice. Um, I did do a couple of uh, test shots uh, with, a, with an airsoft gun uh, in the backyard and I can aim looking through it um, and I'm able to hit things. So that's, uh, that's uh, you know, uh, that's a minor success and something I wanted to do. Um, yeah, so I can definitely use it. I was using the airsoft gun just to see if I could aim uh, effectively looking through the monocle, and I can. And uh, so I, I take that as a very good sign. Uh, I think I'll take it down to the range next chance that I get and uh, take a few shots through one of my firearms and see if I can uh, use it for sighting through the firearms as well. Anyway, looking forward to uh, testing this out completely. So far, it's working very well. This is the unit, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. So, what I can what I can visibly see is just the screen. Uh, when you look at it, um, even with the illuminator on, that's all you can see. Um, the uh, case you can see we cut out holes, and uh, so you can reach all the controls, and we cut this tab so that you can still adjust the uh, eyepiece reticle and the ocular. Um, this is a simple clip you just uh, what you basically do is this goes on the top of the hat this goes on the bottom of the hat. Um, it holds on to the hat very well so with this underneath the brim of the hat and this here uh, it works very well. It clips right on and uh, you can adjust it over your eye just by sliding it around. Um, I was looking at a couple of different clips that might grab onto the hat and both of those at the same time. Um, haven't nailed down exactly what I want to use, but it grabs onto the hat so well it's not going to come off uh, very easily. You're going to have to take a pretty hard hit to knock it off. Um, went ahead and uh, put a cutout so that the uh, safety strap can be attached and uh, I was thinking what we'll probably do is uh, is pin that strap to the hat or something just in case it does get knocked loose it stays attached to your body um, 
just using a rubber band right now to hold on the uh, visible light shields and to uh, keep it so that we can uh, we can um, we can operate with some stealth not giving a visible signature to other people um, of course you can't hide the infrared from people who are using night vision you stand out like a sore thumb to them or even video cameras for that case uh, for that matter um, clip works well I found that this this little bend that we put in here really helps it to grab onto the brim of the hat and angle it so that you can get it over your eye like I said you have to adjust it around a little bit on the brim until you find that perfect place for you uh, but all in all uh, this is working really well uh, I've gone into the garage with it um, it's going to be dark in a few minutes I'll be taking it outside and walking around and trying it out um, but it uh, it functions really well and uh, I'm really excited about this clip I think it's going to uh, make this uh, device work a lot better so this is just a piece of leftover PVC from one of our scabbard projects for our, our sword scabbard project um, you might remember that and uh, once we heated up with a heat gun and 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 attached it um, what we're using is compression you can see it's not a perfect it's not a tight fit all the way around and it doesn't need to be um, we just uh, I just over press this here a little bit so it acts on compression here and on this side here and that compression holds the unit and you can't take it out it's I mean you have to peel this thing apart to get the unit out which is is exactly what I wanted to achieve here um, so now it's mobile it works and it's a great little backup unit um, I wouldn't uh, wouldn't want to go to war with this but uh, if I had started out on a day operation and had no intention of working at nighttime I'd be really happy if I had this in a pocket because for the it weighs about as much as uh, four AR rounds for the weight of four AR rounds um, I now have night vision uh, when I wouldn't have so uh, it's a great little backup device great device around the house and uh, it's a lot of fun to mess around with <laughs> Uh, work on the sizing a little bit. And I think that it'll be 
Not exactly. 